Hi everyone, I'm Rockin' Robin from CookingMexicanRecipes.com. Now in today's episode, I'm going to show you how to make some Baja fish tacos. We'll be using red snapper for our fish today, and when we garnish it all up, we'll be using some green cabbage and some creamy avocado sauce. So I don't know about you, but I'm starving, so let's get started. Let's get started by going over our ingredients. We're going to need some red snapper. You can also use cod or halibut here, depending on what you like. We'll need some soy sauce, some olive oil. I have some fresh lime juice here and some sliced up fresh garlic. Now for our avocado sauce, our creamy sauce, we're going to need a couple of avocados. We'll need some mayonnaise and sour cream. Then over here we've got some garlic powder and some apple cider vinegar. We'll need some scallions here, I've, I've chopped these up super fine, some chili powder and some lime juice and some salt you know, to taste. Here we have a whole cucumber finely chopped up and de-seeded. The best way to handle that is to completely peel your cucumber first and then cut it into thirds lengthwise and then go ahead and cut that in half lengthwise and then in half again so you have quarters. That makes it very easy for you to slice out your seeds and then take your section and chop it up into little uh, matchsticks. And then when you chop it up, it turns out real nice and fine just like this. All right, for our garnishment, we're gonna need some nice, nicely chopped up uh, green cabbage, as well as some cheese for garnish. Uh, I'm using a mixture of Monterey Jack and mild cheddar, and we'll also need some corn tortillas. The first thing we wanna do is marinate our fish. So I'm gonna go ahead and get yourself a, a Ziploc bag and we'll place our fish in the bag. And now we'll add all of these ingredients, the soy sauce, pour that in, our olive oil, the lime juice, and the garlic. Now, zip that up and just give it a little massage get everything mixed in nicely and we'll put this in the refrigerator for about uh, 20 minutes to an hour let's say. Our next step is to make our avocado cream sauce. So I've got my avocados, we want to add our avocados to the bowl. So just scoop the flesh out and put it in the bowl. And if you notice any really dark spots, sometimes the avocados have these black spots, just you know, scrape them out this one looks pretty good. Oh, actually there's a couple in there. Let me get those out. All right. Then we're going to add our mayonnaise and sour cream. Now take a masher and we want to mix these together. Now combine these three ingredients really well before you add the others. All right, so this looks pretty good here. Now I'm going to go ahead and pour in my apple cider vinegar, garlic powder, everything else except for the cucumbers. Here's our scallions and our lemon juice and our chili powder. Okay, so now I'm going to stir this in to combine everything. Next we'll add our cucumbers, and I'm going to add a pinch of salt. We'll just have to taste it and see. A little bit of salt to that, and just fold those in. Okay, so add some salt to this if you need to. Give it a little taste, and then, let me give it a taste. Mmm, that is good. Cover it up with some saran wrap, place it in the refrigerator until you need it, and the next thing we need to work on are our corn tortillas. Now we're ready to start our tortillas. We want to heat them up in the oven. So what I'm going to do is grab a stack here. I've got about eight and I've got a piece of foil. So just place them on that. My oven is preheated and I'm just going to seal this up so that it stays nice and warm. And we'll just heat these in the oven at 250 degrees for, you know, 10, 15 minutes until my fish is ready. I want to get these out of the oven nice and hot. My fish has been marinating now for about 20 minutes, so we're ready to cook. All right, I've got my pan on medium-high heat, and I'm going to add some olive oil to the pan. 
a tablespoon or so. And we'll place our fish right in the pan. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and add a little bit of salt, just a little bit. And these are going to cook up pretty quick, probably three or four minutes. All right, so I think we're ready to turn this over. It's been cooking about a couple minutes on that one side. Looking good. And we'll cook this uh, another couple minutes on this side. Okay, our fish are done. So I'm going to take them and place them on my clean dish. Now we always have the issue of bones, like I can see a few bones here, so we're going to have to go through there and uh, try and peel some of those out. Alright, so we really want to get in here and, and take out some of these bones. I can see several of them right here. So just take your knife and being that this is going in tacos anyway, you know, it's okay if you take the fish apart a little bit. It doesn't have to be one solid piece. All right. So now we're ready to put it all together. I took the tortillas out and they're nice and hot and tender. So let's go ahead and make a couple of our fish tacos. All right, so we'll place our, our tortillas down. And like I said, I, I broke apart some of the fish to get, out the, to get the bones out of it, but also to place it into our taco. So you want to put a nice little amount in there like that, all the way across. And we'll add a little bit of cabbage, like that. And we'll put some, well, we'll do our cream sauce next. Cream sauce is going to really help hold everything together too, which is really nice. Acts like a paste. And then we'll put a little cheese on there, right on the top. And we'll fold this over. They're a little messy, as you can see, but they are delicious, so they're worth it. Okay, I'll put a little lettuce there to kind of prop it up. And you can see it a little better. And we'll have two, I like to use two of these corn tortillas per taco. So we'll do another one, and there you have it. We've got our Baja fish tacos with avocado cream sauce. You're gonna love it. All right, thanks for watching my video. I really appreciate you taking time out of your day to uh, come and join me in my kitchen. And be sure and subscribe to my channel. That way you won't miss any videos coming out. And leave me a comment. I'd love to hear what you think about this recipe. All right, also I wanted to mention that the recipe for this is over on my website at cookingmexicanrecipes.com. I'll put a link down below so you can find it real easy. All right, thanks for watching and we'll see you soon. Starving! I told you I was starving. It's amazing. I want to eat it all up. Go away. <laughs>